here is the place to be. Mix it down with the recipe. Batter up, give it a whirl. Try it out, all in a swirl. Your turn, give it a go. Spice it up, make it your own. It's a world of fun, you see. Slice it, dice it, you and me. Aloha, it's me, Nanea, and today I have a very special guest with me, and it's my sister, Rose. Hi everyone! I'm so excited to be here because Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday because everything is pink, and as you can tell, I love the color pink. Well, as Rose already said that she loves Valentine's Day, you can probably guess that in this video we'll be making some Valentine's Day treats. Wait, hold on! We will be making Valentine's Day treats? I can't bake. Why don't you bake and I'll play the piano or something in the background? No, Rose. Today is the day I will teach you how to bake. Fine. Well, where was I? Oh, right. So today we will be making some delicious Valentine's Day treats. So the first treat we'll be making is Valentine cookies. So we were at Walmart yesterday looking for something to make in today's video, and we found this. And we thought we could have a Valentine's Day cooking making competition. Well, sort of. So we got this set, and now it's time to get it opened. Okay. So it comes with three frosting tubes. Pink. Ooh, that one's mine. Okay, here you go, Rose. Red and white. It also has some tiny heart sprinkles and twelve heart cookies. So let's get decorating. So we took out everything, and me and Rose each have a cookie. So let's get decorating. What color frosting would you like first, Ninia? Um, I'll take the red, please. Here you go, and I'll take the pink. <laughs> Could I have the white now, Rose? Sure. Let me just finish this really quick. Thanks. We finished our cookies, and this is what mine looks like. And this is mine. Comment down below whose you like better. Both for Rose, not Nia. So now we're going to be making my personal favorite pudding cups. My mom used to make these all the time for Valentine's Day. What you'll need is two cups that we decorated, white vanilla pudding, and to another half we added pink food coloring to make it pink, and some decorations like sprinkles. So Rose, out of the white, and you do the pink and sprinkles. Okay. So we finished, and we made some more, and this is what our finished product looks like. They look so good. So Rose just came up with this idea before we started filming this video. She said that everyone gives rose bouquets on Valentine's Day, and they sometimes get a little boring. So why not make a sweet bouquet with lollipops? And I said exactly. That's a great idea. So here we are making it. So what you will need to do is take a mini flower pot or any size, and then get a foam ball and make sure it fits in all nice and snug. Then take your lollipops and start at the bottom and stick the lollipops close to each other all the way around to the top. And now it's all done. Nania, can I try a lollipop? Sure, Rose. Mmm, cherry, my favorite. So this is everything that we made today, and all of these treats will be perfect to give to almost anyone for Valentine's Day. We would like to hear from you guys if you made these and how you liked them. If you have any special requests, our PO box is always down below to send us a letter with a new recipe. We hope you guys like this video. We want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite holiday. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you next week, my little chefs. Aloha! You were right, Ninia. This was fun. Well, bye, everyone. Everybody mix into the beat. Tell me what's cooking. Everybody whip it.